Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Snow It All here, and I'm back once again. Welcome to the channel for everyone new, and welcome back if we have anyone returning. Um, this week is a very exciting week in Formula One world. It's the first ever Miami Grand Prix. Now, what should we expect from this weekend at all at all? This could be potentially one of the biggest races of the year, with the new circuit adding a variable of no one knowing what to expect. Because of this, I'm really hoping for a little bit of carnage to really mix up the race order. And would there be a better way than to sprinkle that little bit of carnage in there than us having the first big podium of the year? I'm thinking Mr. Valtteri Bottas is going to come in and steal the show in that Alfa Romeo. The man is in great form at the moment. With a stunning drive last week, as we discussed in the previous video, that could have potentially put him on the podium if it wasn't for the pit stop. Um, if McLaren are a little bit weaker this week and we kind of see the same run of form from everyone else, we might have a potential major upset from him. There is one man who will be hoping for no upset this weekend though, and that is Carlos Sainz. So I'm going to play this one very safe and boring. Although, to be fair, it might not be the most safe given the last few races. I'm going to say that Sainz will, hopefully, actually finish the race this weekend. I'm not even going to put a position target on it, anything like that. We just want the man to cross the line and finish. Which leads me nicely into who I think will not finish this weekend. And I'm actually going to throw out two predictions here. The first will become a long enough running one if it doesn't happen soon enough. But it has to happen by year end. So I'm going to be leaving it in there until it happens. And that is... Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen coming together and having some contact. The sparks have got to fly and the gloves have got to come off at some point this season. And what, what better place would it be than here on a brand new circuit where they're both trying to find the limit. And now next I think we might actually have a double crash from one person. And no, shockingly I don't think it's going to be Latifi. I think it could actually be Mick Schumacher. Here in a brand new circuit that he hasn't raced in, we all know he likes his second year to get up to speed with Formula 3, Formula 2. Maybe coming in now with a relatively new car, brand new circuit, he might start making mistakes again. What I think will actually happen is that he's going to be trying to really overdrive because of Ma or Magnussen, sorry. And I think he will overstep his mark in quali. And then as well in the race, I think he's going to have a bad quali. He's going to have to either start at the back of Q2 or the back of Q1. And then I think he's going to be caught in the pack and he's going to mess up in the first few laps. So I think he might not finish both race and quali. And finally, I think I'm going to finish here now on McLaren. And there's only one person I ha can have the prediction about here doing well. And that is Daniel Ricciardo. I think he is going to beat Norris in the race. I'm not sure about qualifying. But he is the glorified American. Even though he is from Australia. Um, he's here in a new circuit. He absolutely loves America. Um, I think this could get him in a really, really good mindset going into the race. That if things click for him and we see a Daniel Ricciardo at wonder drive like we have in the past. I think he could really be one to keep his eye on. Our, all our eyes on. And he might have a superb race. So that's all for now. I really don't know what could happen this weekend. It should be one of pure excitement. And it's really great to see another race going on. I know there's been a lot of like uproar being like oh America shouldn't have so many races. But... I think it's fair, I think it's grand to have it and I really like the timings here in Europe that it goes into the evening. Um, it's a nice time to watch a race, you can have a few drinks, everything like that. Um, I hope you all enjoy it, everyone who's watching it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the content here. 
so please don't forget drop a like and subscribe and mean the world to me um if you like this content and if you want to see more thank you very much for watching and please have a great day